Welcome to Q4 of this year. It's time to get to work. Are you feeling unmotivated? Are you only wanting to scroll on your phone and not do anything? This video is for you. This is why you have to get productive at the end of the last quarter of 2024. If you don't want to succeed, you can click away from this video. But if you wanna be on this journey of becoming successful, chasing greatness, stay watching full day and explanations of all the habits to keep myself working 12 plus hours a day in a high stress environment. So we take care of the business, the finances, my career and fitness as well. My name's Dylan, if you're new to the channel, I make motivational videos based on fitness, business and sales and marketing. Currently, I am running an agency as well as working in the commercial and industrial space. Give some credibility, I've been working 12 hour days since I turned 18. I am a mechanical engineer in Canada by my education, so I had a business, my first business at 18, ran that to six figures as a lawn care and snow removal business while studying mechanical engineering. So those were actually 14 hour days. And on top of that, now I'm working in sales in the commercial and industrial space. And at the same time, I have our social media marketing agency. I know it's a big fad, but I believe that it's been a legit business for the past year and a half. We've signed on a bunch of clients and hit that 10K watermark. So there are my credibilities. Welcome to everything that helps me stay grounded, stay humbled, stay focused while taking care of my wealth and my health, as I believe those both go hand in hand. So I have all of the tips and tricks laid out in the vlog. I talk about what I do, why I'm doing it, and the application in real time, like I said. And then at the end of a summary, so if you don't wanna watch the vlog, skip to the end, you can hear the summary. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. A lot of value, a lot of videos coming out, and I appreciate everyone watching. Enjoy the video. This is a productive day in the life and really how to be productive in Q4 of 2024. You only get one Q4, so follow along and enjoy the video. Holy crap, it's definitely winter coming. Welcome to quarter four, the one and only Q4 of 2024, guys. I hope this year has been good overall, great overall, highs and lows even for me. But a reminder that this is the last three months of this year. So it's time to get dialed in. It's time to start putting words to action. Don't wait till the new year. Don't be that guy. Don't wait till the new year motivational content starts in January, December. And you're just like, oh, I'm gonna track my goals again. So today's video is just about productivity and goal setting for the next three months. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head to the office right now, but motivation for today, don't be that guy. You only get one life. You gotta start taking action today, right? Another quarter just ended. Did you accomplish what you wanted? Did you even track the goals you wanted to do? What did you do well? What didn't you do well? So let's go to the office. And yeah, as you saw, we were up at 6.35 today. Got up, solitude, morning. Always try and keep my morning to myself. Got journaling done, hopped on a meeting, and I gotta get to work right away. So we'll see you at the office. <sighs> meetings on meetings. Oh, definitely sucks. Crypto markets are shitting right now, but Cello, which is up like 10%, it's supposed to be October, whatever. Biggest thing in this quarter to focus on is control the controllables. Have that positive mindset. Even if you don't have good investments, control the controllables. Like if you're in sales or you're an entrepreneur, do more dials, do more presentations, go do more outreach. 
And as long as you do that, once you finish the month, because you should be goal setting monthly and comparing it to your yearly goals, you should be in a good spot. So comparing to my September uh, benchmark, reviewing my September goals, it was okay. I would say I was 70% of the way there. Missed the mark on a couple things. Honestly, didn't close any big jobs. I like didn't close any big jobs. I was aiming for 100K that month. Did not hit it just due to, again, projects not going forward. Um, in the space I work in construction, there's a lot of uncontrollables. So really have that resilient mindset and be able to do the controllables. Control what you can and do your best. And if you truly do your best, results will show Get that black coffee in you fast every day. I promise you guys, I talk about it so much. If you're in the mind and in the body, no one knows how jacked I am. Sheesh, got that back at work. Um, but yeah, September I definitely was off the quote unquote diet. But honestly, when you fast, you can eat however you like as long as you're in your caloric maintenance. Key point, if you want to be better at business calls, get a pair of wired headphones. These have helped me talk much more clear when I talk to a client. So yeah, we're about to do some work before lunch. So one of the biggest things that I'm trying to do for October is to stick with my time blocking schedule. So at least plan out my days, have a consistent routine because routines lead to consistency, which leads to results. I'm usually very sporadic. I find with the job and my business, it's everything's dynamic, but if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So trying to time block and stick to a schedule, a actual set schedule, what I'm gonna do, whether it's like outbound for an hour, study, marketing or study presentations for an hour, study technical topics for an hour, and just have every day laid out. And if things don't go as planned, that's okay, but just having a plan ensures that you don't fail. I find a lot of people are too fixated on plans sometimes, and you don't wanna be like that either, but I think for right now where I am at my life, having a daily routine will be, will be good, and if it doesn't go with the routines, then don't beat yourself up. Some people don't ever do anything because they get analysis paralysis or they're too fixated on just like, oh, I need to journal every day or I need to do this at this time and you know, just do what is required, take action and do what produces results. We're gonna go eat now, break the fast at 12. You'd love the, the documentary, it's very, I will. Sim very sim heartwarming. Sim sim do you have some perspective? So it's possible. So again, productivity hack, always fast until lunchtime so you're not lethargic. I'll probably eat a salad with some protein so I'm not full in a sense where I feel like shit because I'll probably do a little bit more work and then hit the gym. Yeah, and then the second productivity hack of the day is time block your days. If you don't plan, you plan on failing. So try and be rigid with your schedule. But if things don't go well because you have to take action on things that produce results, don't beat yourself up. So. Go see a client now. Yeah, we'll see what we eat. So just finished lunch, had a Korean chicken sandwich. But honestly, I didn't eat the bun, so just had the chicken and a salad. Now I'm gonna actually do more work. I have to stick to the work protocols first, and then I'll go to the gym. So I'm gonna work more and yeah, let's see. Oh, it's kind of weird. I do want to get leaner just for my own peace of mind. Even though it's literally fall, like the leaves on the ground. But when you're lean, you have a sharp mind. You're disciplined with your eating. You're going to be disciplined with your work. So, yeah, happy October again. Productive day today. Very productive. So, this is the current physique full-time working. Honestly, that diet break helped me lean out a bit. Now we're about to do work before we go work out. Work over everything. If you want to actually achieve wealth, work over everything. Kind of the supplements I've been taking, greens and lion's mane. I've been on both of these for like a year now almost. 
It's been pretty good for the health. Again, physique's looking not bad after that Korean fried chicken sandwich. Um, focus is there. Another thing about productivity that I would really stress is make sure you meditate. You know, over time it's like a supplement. You might not see the benefits right away, but over time it's gonna cause your brain to focus more. These heat pumps tied into these boilers. When I play games, I like to win. Currently 4 p.m. About to go hit a pull day, so back and bicep. Again, this is only going to be an hour 15 that we're here at the gym and then back to work later tonight. So I'll usually have a cup to two cups of coffee during my work time. And then to kick start the energy for the evening, we got some batch 27. I'll take half a scoop of this. This will, this will help me get work done till about 10, 30, 11. So yeah, let's go. The weather actually is warming up right now. We're currently at NMP Center. So it's near the office on the way back home. So if it's four, hopefully by the time I get home, I miss the traffic. Okay, so right now we're gonna warm up in my previous and other videos. I like to right now do 15 minutes of high intensity cardio, so I'm gonna do that is by doing my Muay Thai. Just getting back into Muay Thai. I miss the sport, I miss training it formally. I miss training MMA too, to be honest with you. But I feel like with cardiovascular health getting better, you actually work better. You have more blood flow going to your body and throughout the day you don't feel as brain fog. So it's another hack of the day if you want to reclaim your life and this video is all about that so we're gonna warm up with some jump ropes and some bag work but again honestly I'm gonna keep the whoop I actually really like it for sleep but I still like the Apple watch to track time of a workout because what doesn't get measured doesn't get managed and I'm not a gym freak I'm not here for hours only an hour and a half total including the walking time changing etc so yeah Another thing about productivity is don't care about how you dress. I've worn this In-N-Out shirt in multiple videos. I just wash it, man. So I can do your laundry. All right, move on. All right, we're about to go get a back and bicep in now. Just finished the workout, only an hour 20 minutes. Now it's time to get back to work, so I gotta go back, I'm gonna work, I gotta do something urgent for one of my clients, then I'm gonna Wim Hof, meditate, eat dinner, and then back to more work till around probably 10, 30, 11. So we are out the house at eight today, now it's 5.42, and now we got more work to do, so I've already kind of pre-planned, like I said, what I'm going to do. I'm going to first eat while I eat. I'm going to pull up the work. And then I'm going to actually do that work first. And I'll eat. I'll meditate. Wim Hof. Get back to some grind. And yeah, this is what productivity looks like in a day. Productivity does not mean being busy. It means focusing on the high impact tasks that will move the needle forward um yeah i don't know what else to say i mean at the beginning of this video i'm gonna release the recap of all the steps of living a productive life this life's super competitive you need to be able to have the edge on everyone and that's an unfortunate reality of the world especially being a man you have to work your ass off or else no one really cares about you no one really cares about the fact that things are tough you know another thing too it's not all about the money you got to live a purposeful life if you have money and you don't know what to do with it you don't have anything interesting to talk about you got money off a crypto pump you won't be respected in a room when there are seven eight nine figures um, entrepreneurs in that room so live a purposeful life be interesting take care of all aspects of your life in your 20s 30s whatever when you're a teen, your health, your wealth, 
your family time, your spirituality. So just a little rant. Full day in the life, I always rant. And yeah, this world is unforgiving, so make sure everything you do never waste time in your day. I did not take a nap today. I was up at 6.35, I'll probably sleep at 11 or so, so six to seven hours is all you need. Also, if you want any connection or help, personally, follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. That's where you're gonna be able to speak to me one-on-one. -on -one. All right, guys, fuck it. Way two scoops of this cinnamon bun as my dessert. We have some salmon, leftover steak, half a cup of rice, and, ah, oh, fuck it, 460 calories of cheat, but I've got to work right now. I've got to go hard, so today's an instant kind of day, but we got the workout in, and we had good amounts of protein even at lunch. This is what I had for lunch, so some days you just got to do what you have to do. That's the other thing. People... People too much into the biohacking. Oh my god, I can't get my protein into it. I can't do them. Like, bro, relax. Just do what is required. One day off is not going to fuck you up. Bon appetit. <laughs> so another thing is, took off my contacts. Try and finish your meals earlier in the day if possible. Because the time you stop eating will affect how you sleep. Which will then affect how your performance is tomorrow. So... Right now it's what, six right now. So right now it's six. I'll be done this in 20 minutes and then that'll be my last meal of the day. Okay, so dinner is done. Got some work done while I was eating, but now we're gonna do the meditation in Wim Hof. It's only about 6.30 right now. This only takes 20 minutes, so it'll be 6.50. We'll work from 6.50 for another three hours till 9.50, then I'll wind down, take a shower, relax. That takes me about 20 minutes. And then we will work, quote unquote work, but plan out for tomorrow, get ready for bed. Just been grinding since we did the meditation. Grind never stops, it's currently, yeah, it's currently like 9.30 right now. So I'm working on the agency, got some client work I have to do. Like I said, this life ain't easy. If you wanna be successful, you have to out-compete and outwork people. And you have to have patience because some things are out of your control. So if you're doubting yourself for this last quarter of the year, don't doubt yourself. Push through it. Implement these routines. Implement a day-to-day -day schedule. It doesn't have to look like mine. And to be honest, like I said, my day-to-day -day schedule always changes. If a client wants to meet, if a client needs something, something pops up, I have to be able to pivot like that. And you have to have the capabilities to pivot when things aren't going as planned. That's how you're going to be successful. So my name is Dylan. I make motivational content based around fitness, self-help, self-improvement, and advice in the real world. Check out those gains. Oh, fuck. I'm cramping. So continue to work. Probably probably till 11.30 tonight because something came up. But I have to do what's required, man. Day's not over. October 1st, Q4. I'm going to end the video after this. I'm going to shower. Biggest thing is get your skincare and grooming done. So I've been using this kind of retinol thing with the dark circle cream. So another big thing is look good, feel good. So if you look good, you feel good. Um, you don't have the bags under your eyes. You're gonna just, you're gonna perform better because again, you look good, you feel good. So I will recap today's video at the end of this. And then tomorrow I will make the intro so i hope you guys enjoyed it this is productivity tips and tricks productivity hacks that you can implement if you're working 12 plus hours every day you want to take care of your wealth your health and overall everything so i'm gonna shower do my skincare and we actually still have to work so i'll probably pull a midnight work session today it's just one of those days do what is required i'm gonna end the video here it's 11:47. Again, I'm probably going to stay up till 12.30, just client work. This thing about running your own business or being in sales, if client asks for something, you should get it done immediately. So, ending the video here, I'm going to recap everything that helps your productivity. If you really want to lock in, finish this year strong. And again, don't be that guy who waits till the new year, have that new year routine, and then it gets lost in the sauce. You want to always be benchmarking. So... These are the tips I covered today. Number one, 
is in order to stay productive, have a plan, schedule your day every day, because without a plan, you plan to fail. Two, you want to always be reevaluating your goals every month. Okay, some people do it every week, I do it every month. I look at where I am compared to my January 1st goals, and I pivot, right? I benchmark, I pivot. Knowing that I can take the right action steps to move in the right direction. Number three is you want to fast. Fast every day. That's going to help you stay lean. That's going to help you not be lethargic. It's not going to make you tired and sluggish so you have your brain to work every day. And again, it has a lot of benefits. I'm not going to get into that with this video. Number four, what you want to do is have some caffeine too while you fast, right? You guys saw I have caffeine right at the beginning of the day and then I have it in the midday so that I can work into the night. And this is the last tip that I didn't really demonstrate. It's the secret tip on actually how to work 12 hours a day every day. That tip is do what you are passionate about. That doesn't mean be stupid. It means that with work, like Tim Cook says, your tools are always going to be there, right? You never stop working, but as you work more, that passion develops. And Tim Cook, I believe, says those tools start to feel lighter. You're always going to be working. You're always going to be going at it. But you need to find passion. You need to find purpose. And then work feels like play. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you guys found these tips helpful. You found everything I did in my day realistic, right? 12-hour work days. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. There's almost a thousand subs and truly I've Yeah, I have no words to say. I appreciate all the support. My channel is here for you to level up your life without feeling like It's unrealistic Everything is very raw and documented so that five years down the line Let's say or even two years down the line even for myself I can benchmark where I was in life at this point at 25 years old. So Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on notifications because I'm posting consistently every week. And I appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next video.